This is my little Chubbs. His name is Pika. As you see, he's got a little hay manger up there. Got his water bottle on the side. The metal one I found. Metal and glass doesn't leak as much as the plastic ones do. And if you notice, he is sitting in a little pan. And we found that that is the easiest way to keep the cage clean from hay. Because if the hay sits, they pee on it and it smells. And guinea pigs can be smelly if you don't take care of their cage. So this I change out daily. And here, Pika. Look out. Look out, little buddy. Come on. Scoop. Now, this little litter pan I got from the dollar store, Dollar Tree for a dollar. And underneath are pee pads, and I trim them to fit inside it. Just regular puppy pee pads or adult pee pads. The puppy pee pads are cheaper. I buy them in bulk online. I have like a year's supply for $20. These little, this right here is bought from the dollar store as well, and I just bent it in half and um, stick the hay in it, and it's the best hay manger I've found. I had um, one of these wooden ones, and they don't fit not nearly enough hay, but it was wood, so I just left it in the cage so they could chew on it when they were bored. Um, but that's the best one I've found so far. It makes the least amount of mess. Holds plenty of hay. Um, this backing is you can just use whatever piece of wood, piece of cardboard. These little metal clips are from Dollar Tree as well. There's a pack of six for a dollar. Um, the <clears throat> their water container um, came from I believe it was Petco, and I want to say it was around ten bucks. But these clips work awesome for holding the litter pan in place because they're guinea pigs and they will move it. Um, I have one there and I have one on the back there and one on the back there and I just clip it to the side of the cage so that they can't slide it around. Um, they do get bored so they have you know little wooden stuff to chew on, toys to play with. Um, I got that from Petco. I think it was like eight bucks and they like to hide under it, chew on it, and it works good as a little little bridge for them to get into their little litter pan for the hay. Um, like I said, I change that out once a day um, and I have spare of these little special carpeting, which I'll talk about later, um, that goes over them because uh, I don't like to mess with <clears throat> litter, no paper bedding, none of that. You'll see that this specialty pet carpet works amazing. My husband discovered it online. Um, they have little chew sticks. This is some apple wood. They sort of like it, but you know, it's not their favorite. And this little guy is Chewy. Hi, Chewy. What are you doing? Here, you can stay under there. You're good. Um... These little hideaways are pretty cheap. They came from Petco as well, along with this basket one, which they like to chew on. I've had it for quite a while. I want to say it was around 20 bucks. I buy most of my stuff from Petco online because it's way cheaper than in the stores, but uh, they've chewed it up quite a bit, so that's why the bottom's coming off, but that's why I got them that one, so they could chew on it. Um, a little food dish. I got a ceramic one from Dollar Tree. Uh, it's harder for them to knock over. Um, little toys came from Petco. Just whatever wood. Just be careful what you're buying and make sure you look online first because a lot of the packages say stuff is for guinea pigs and it's actually not good for them. Um, this little pet hammock uh, I got off of Amazon. Uh, $15 I believe it was. Um, but they like to just chill in it, hide under it, sit on top of it. Pika mostly sits on top of it. He's a climber. I mean, he doesn't climb out of the cage or anything, but he likes to sit on top of those and just chill. Um, as you can see, I have the uh, dual cage set up, the guinea habitat. I bought two of those, and so that's plenty of room for two guinea pigs. 
I mean, one cage was enough, but I wanted them to have plenty of room because they're my little babies. So back to this specialty carpet that I'm using. Um, it's washable. I have two sets, one for each cage. And then underneath them, I'll show you. Underneath them is um, more pet pads. So once a week, I change them out. So that saves me a lot of money. And I spot clean their cage once a day, you know, pick up their little poopies and change out their little litter pan there and a little pee pad underneath it. Um, and then I sprinkle baking soda on this specialty carpet and it pretty much makes them odorless. It works really great. So if you're having trouble with your guinea pig smell, I highly, highly recommend this setup. Now, the initial buy-in, like I said, I have two sets of these carpets and then I cut a bunch of little ones for the litter pan to change out daily. The initial setup, I paid $200 just for this specialty carpet. And I could put a link down in the comments. Um, but it's actually, people use it in kennels because the pee goes right through. It absorbs right through the carpet and down to underneath, to whatever's underneath of it. Um, and doesn't stay in the carpet, so that helps really well with the smell. Right, Pika? To help with the smell? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, this is the best setup we've found so far. It works amazingly well. It's super easy to clean. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I use um, plastic gloves, which I got from Dollar Tree as well. You know, you probably will not run out of these for a long time. There's a hundred in there. And I use that to spot clean the cage, um, you know, and pick up, pick up their little poopies. Right? Right, Pika? You pick up your little poopies. He's so cute. Um, my husband bought this bale of Timothy hay, so I have like you know over a year supply of hay already here for them. Um, they love their hay, of course, and they love to make a mess with their hay, but they're little cutie pies, so it's okay, right? It's okay. Um, I'll show you what the pee pads I use look like if I could get the lid off of my stowaway. So these are the little extra squares I have for putting in their um, little litter pan. I will use, um, you can use a shop vac, but I use a dustpan for cleaning out the cage. I get the cheapest baking soda I could possibly get and it works perfectly fine. It's from Walmart, it's only like a couple bucks for this big box. And like I said, I just sprinkle it on top of the carpet and then I just rub it in with my, with my dustpan, little burmy there. So I have my little extra squares, which are all machine washable. The, um, this is what the underneath looks like. It's this uh, green stuff that just wicks the pee right away underneath into these pee pads. So adult pee pads, puppy pee pads, doesn't really matter what you use. Um, I use two per cage. Two of them fit down there and then I will trim little pieces for the spots. Um, but I don't need to put one under the litter pan, so I don't put one there. Um, Walmart has this really good guinea pig food. I got this container from Dollar Tree. Um, as you'll see, I'm very thrifty. Um, the food is like $3.99 for a bag at Walmart and lasts them for quite a while for their pellets. Um, what else? Oh, if they're traveling, I bought these little hay cubes 
which are convenient. They're like little, you know, bales of hay, but they're all smooshed together. Timothy hay, they like that. So I have that for them as well. And I think that's about it. They get pellets each day. They get fresh vegetables each day. Um, their normal food that I give them is the pretty much the cheapest I can get um, that I can afford is red leaf lettuce, green leaf lettuce. Like this is red leaf lettuce right here, even though it looks green. Pika. He likes tends to like the green part the best. And then Chewy, he's the opposite. He likes um, the crunchy part, the stalk of it the best. There you go. And uh, another cheap um, alternative for vegetables, if you're looking to save some money but still feed them something good, um, is bell pepper. You can get bell pepper pretty cheap. Um, a head of green leaf lettuce or red leaf lettuce is like $1.50 at Walmart. I prefer Winn-Dixie's. Theirs is a little more higher quality and lasts longer. And theirs, I think, is like $1.99, but it lasts for quite a while. And then their favorite to eat, which is the cheapest, is um, bell peppers. And each guinea pig gets a quarter of a bell pepper. This one's pretty large. A quarter of a bell pepper a day, and this has all the vitamin C that they're going to need. And they love the taste of it. Bell pepper is their favorite. Um, they are so smart. They really are. They're smarter than cats, I believe. And they whistle. They make noise. Um, I can be all the way across the other side of the house, um, opening the vegetable drawer in the refrigerator, and <laughs> they will hear me and make their little squeaking noises. Right, Pika? Right, Pika Pie? Is that yummy? Is that yummy? But that's my guinea pig cage setup. Um, to start off, all of it was pretty expensive, but it was well worth it. It was all by trial and error. I had paper bedding at first, I had pine bedding at first, and all of that made such a mess. And I, I had my cage on the floor at first. Um, but every time you would walk in the room, you would be like looming over the guinea pigs and, you know, their natural instincts kick in and think you're a predator, so they would always hide from you. So since they've been up on this desk that I bought, just an L-shaped desk, um, they've been much better, much more, you know, interactive and stuff like that. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, are you going to steal Chewy's food? Yeah, that's what I thought. But uh, these are my little piggies. Chewy is the brown one, and Pika is the multicolored one. Pika is almost a year old, and Chewy is a couple months younger than Pika. So, thanks for watching.